Thank you for calling GEICO. If you're calling in regard to a claim, accident, or emergency roadside service, press 1. If you would like a quote for a new policy or to restart a canceled policy, press 2. To set up or update an automatic payment, press 3. To make or schedule a payment, press 4. Check recent payments, current amount due, or due date, press 5. To request an insurance card, press 6. To speak with a professional insurance agent for service on an existing policy, press 7. To repeat this menu, press 0. Thank you for continuing to be part of the GEICO family. For service on an automobile policy, press 1. For home, condo, or renter's insurance, press 2. For motorcycle or ATV, press 3. For umbrella, if you or your spouse are active duty, guard, reserve, or retired military, press 1. If you are a lien holder or leasing company representative, press 2. If you want to restart your canceled policy, press 3. For general customer service, press 4. To repeat this menu, press To help us best route your call, please provide the three-digit area code of the phone number from which you are calling. Please make a selection. To help us best route your call, your call may be recorded for quality assurance. Thank you for choosing GEICO. Right now our agents are assisting other customers. We know your time is valuable. You can service your policy by continuing to wait for an available agent, or you can go right now to our website, www. Hi, this is Andrea speaking. How can I help you today? Hi, Tiandra. This is uh, Solange Martinez. May I have the spelling of your name and your ID number, please? My name is Andrea. It's spelled A-N-D-R-E-A. Uh-huh. And my number is 164393. Thank you so much, Andrea. And may I speak to a supervisor, please? Okay, is it okay if I ask what this was in regards to, just to make sure I get the right person over here to help? Well, um, a few months ago, uh, my um, policy, I was told by a um, GEICO representative that my policy was going to increase about uh, $250. It was about seven hundred and something dollars, and then it increased to almost a thousand dollars. And I asked why the male representative, the female representative, and then the male representative that that spoke with me told me that my uh, policy was changing to New York because I was in New York, and um, therefore they raised my rate. So um, I said, okay, uh, today I go to a motor vehicles um, in uh, Yonkers, New York. Uh, today, the 2nd of July, 2014, about five months later, I go to motor vehicles and they say that they cannot uh, change my title and my um, registration because um, my vehicle is registered in the state of New Jersey. So I had to call Geico and had uh, somebody uh, fax them my vehicle's information uh, with the state of New York. So uh, these uh, uh, Geico members that I spoke with changed my rate to New York rate. Uh, so I was uh, charged uh, about $250 more and left my vehicle uh, registered with the state of New Jersey. So I need the money back. Okay, and do you maybe have your policy number or the phone number? I can pull everything up for you. The policy number is 4022205761. And incidentally, um, before this, I discovered that I had three accidents where people uh, crashed into me and it was not my fault and um, when I contacted another insurance company they told me that uh, my rates went up because uh, they checked my GEICO uh, records and they found that I was put as at fault for the accidents where I was not at fault 
I had to call Geico and have that corrected. But that was after I was charged as if the accidents were my fault. And my I rates, I noticed that my rates went up after the, the accidents w where I was not at fault. Okay, let me take a look. Can you just verify for me really quick your zip code? My zip code is, uh, my current zip code is 10705. Okay, thank you so much. So I'm just pulling up everything here. I'm just trying to take a look to see what's going on. So uh, just in regards to the accidents, we definitely do have them listed as not at fault. So I don't see anything listed as at fault. And you actually have no surcharges on the policy in regards to that. You're actually not receiving a higher rate for those because we definitely do have them listed not at fault. You don't have any surcharges or anything. You aren't being charged any extra for that. Um, so let me just take a look back in regards to the change of address because I know you said May I interject for a second? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not listed as, as at fault now because I called and I had them correct that a few months ago. That's why I'm not listed at, as fault now, uh, but I was before, and they were charging me the rates accordingly. Okay, all right, let me take a look back. Look for you. That's okay, take your time. Incidentally, I had a few accidents where um, mafia members uh, crashed into my car and my car was not fixed. Um, I went to, I was told by a Geico um, adjuster to go to a mechanic so they can check the car inside and when the mechanic gave them a rate of a thousand four hundred dollars, they only gave me like uh, three hundred dollars after uh, the deductible that I had to pay. So it's really strange that Geico has, uh, seems to be changing my information and charging me for New York state rates when the they left me the vehicle registered in the state of New Jersey. And uh, the accidents where I was not at fault, I was put at fault, and then the accidents uh, within the uh, last few months when mafia members crashed into me, my, I, they refused to fix my car. So it's really strange the things that are ha that are happening to me in Geico. All right. Well, right now, just in terms of the vehicle, even though if it is registered in New Jersey, if it's being kept in New York, that's where we we base it off of. Not the registered state, but we do base it off of where the vehicle is being kept. So that's why it was put in New York because we did get notification that it was now going to be a New York policy. Um, so it doesn't really have to do with the register state, it's more where it's being kept, but in terms of the information with, I just wanted to see before everything was changed if you were being surcharged for the the accidents, because at that point if you were, we would obviously refund that amount back to you, but I don't see that there was any surcharge on the policy, even though they were, if it was listed at that, there was no additional charge. The only reason why the rate has increased is just in regards to the address change going to the state of New York. Yes, but I wonder why if they were if you were charging me New York rates which are higher, uh, why was my vehicle registered in uh, left registered in New Jersey? That sounds like fraud. No, we can't actually change it here until you re-register the car in New York. So it stays listed as registered in New Jersey until you actually go to re-register it in New York. And then at that point, we send you out ID cards that show New York, and you can go ahead and get that re-registered. Because usually, the state of New York gives you about 30 days to go ahead and get it registered. So we don't change it automatically. We wait until you actually go to re-register the vehicle. The problem is that when I went to uh, register the vehicle, um, to change the the vehicle's uh, information, they told me no, you're not, you don't, you're not insurance, uh, you're not insured in the state of New York. You don't have New York's insurance. You have New Jersey insurance. So they refused to uh, change the information regarding my vehicle. Okay, 
because according to the motor vehicles in the state of New York, I mean, they, they, they might be lying, but I don't think so. The motor vehicle in the state of New York, in Yonkers, New York, told me that uh, I didn't have New York insurance, that I had New Jersey insurance. How come I was being charged New York uh, rates when I had New Jersey insurance? Right, so it's actually a New York policy. It's been changed from New York policy this whole time since the vehicle is being kept there. But again, we keep it listed as registered in New Jersey until you go to actually make that change. May I, may I interject for a second? Yeah. Uh, the vehicle was changed today because I was at the motor vehicles uh, site to date and they told me that, that, that I didn't have New, New York uh, insurance, that I had New Jersey insurance. Right. So they refused to um, change the information regarding my vehicle and I had to contact Geico and I spoke to a gentleman uh, who was this, I believe, the same gentleman that uh, charged me the New York uh, state rates when the, he left the vehicle registered as a New Jersey vehicle. So I was not, uh, I didn't have New, New York insurance, even though I was being charged New, Jer New York rates. I had New Jersey insurance. That's what the Department of Motor Vehicles uh, in Westchester County told me, and I don't think they were lying. It's actually two separate things. So your vehicle is rated for New York, so you have a New York policy, but your vehicle was still registered in New Jersey. So since you still had it registered in New Jersey, we keep it that way until you actually re-register it. So you do have a New York policy, and you've had it actually all the way since. It looks like it was changed back in March. So you're being rated, or actually, no, I'm sorry, it looks like maybe back even further than that, maybe even January. About five months ago, I started I started paying okay. about $250 more uh, for uh, about uh, uh, since uh, maybe um, uh, January or uh, February uh, and I've been paying the New York rates uh, for five months which are higher than New Jersey when I didn't have New York insurance I had New Jersey insurance that's why I need to speak to, su to a supervisor because I'm going to have to contact the media on this I don't think that a uh, guy is, is you know doing uh, a job that is not fraudulent you've had a New York policy, your registration just shows as New Jersey because you've still had it registered in New Jersey this whole time. So when you called back earlier, the last agent, all they did was update the registered state to New York as well and send you out some new ID cards. But this whole time, it has been switched over to a New York policy because your vehicle has been kept in New York. So all we did earlier when you called was just change the registered state to New York and just resend the ID card so that you can re-register it in New York today. But you have had New York insurance this whole time because that's where the vehicle is being kept. I disagree with you. That's why I need to speak to a supervisor because I need to f um, file a complaint uh, regarding this and then I'm going to proceed uh, to report this to the pertinent federal and state agencies to see what happens because uh, some things uh, have been happening in, in, uh, in GEICO regarding my vehicle that I don't think are legal. Like uh, the last time that a mafia member crashed into me and broke my front light, uh, I went to the GEICO adjuster and she told me uh, that uh, GEICO was not going to pay for the light even though uh, I gave her uh, proof that um, this mafia member broke the light when he backed up uh, violently against me against my vehicle and she said uh, no if you want to repair your light go to a, uh, a junkyard and buy another light we're not going to pay for that for that light and then i find out that that guy called representative impersonated somebody else she was not the person that she told me she was and she gave me a business card that was not uh, her business card it was somebody else so she was impersonating uh, somebody else and i think that that is but strange and it's not legal. You cannot say that you are one person when uh, you are another person. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not exactly what, you know, I don't really know what transpired over that conversation. That would be more for the claims department, but what I can do, I can get a supervisor on the line to go over with you just to, you know, what happened in terms of switching to New York. We have had you rated for New York this whole time, that this is what we do with all of our policyholders. It was just still, your vehicle is still registered in New Jersey this whole time. So it the was problem, why registered. I don't understand why you're saying that the, the person at the motor vehicles uh, site in, in New York lied to me. He had no reason to lie to me because he didn't know me. 
No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. It's just your ID card shows New Jersey because that's where your vehicle is currently registered. So when you go to register in a new state, we have to adjust the registered state to New York, and then you can re-register it. So he, all he can see is that it's showing registered for New Jersey. But since it's being kept in New York, your policy is actually rated for New York. So he wasn't lying. He's just saying that your ID card shows New Jersey, which it did because your vehicle was registered in New Jersey. But I'm going to take a look. If you want to speak to a supervisor, I can definitely get one on the line. They can further go over the details with you. I definitely understand the frustration. It's just at this point, we that's what we do with all of our policyholders. When you re-register in a new state, we just adjust the registered state to New York and just send out new ID cards for you so you can get everything re-registered. But this whole time, since that's where your vehicle is being kept, we have to rate you in terms of the actual amount that we charge based on where your vehicle is being garaged. So since it's kept in New York, we have to actually rate it for the state of New York. But since it was still registered in New Jersey, that's where your ID cards are going to show because your vehicle is still registered there. The problem with that is that, you know, what you rationalize it very well, very nicely. But the problem with that is that when I went to Motor Vehicles today, they told me, you don't have New York insurance, you have New Jersey insurance. And that's a problem because if I didn't have New York insurance, why was I paying uh, New York rates if I didn't have New York's insurance? See, by that they mean New Jersey is showing up on your ID cards, but you don't have a New Jersey policy, you have a New York policy, but it's showing on your ID card because that's where the vehicle's registered. They can't see where the vehicle, they can't pull up the policy and actually see where it's being rated because it is being rated in New York, but at that point it's just New Jersey is showing on the ID card, so it looks to them like a New Jersey policy because that's where your car is so registered. So we have to send out with the new information, show New York, so we can basically just refax it so you can re-register in, in the state of New York. But you definitely this whole time have had a New York Yes, uh, we've like been that. having uh, going in circles uh, for about five or mm -hmm. ten minutes. Uh, when am I going to get to okay, speak cool. to the supervisor? Well, that's fine. I'll get a supervisor right now. They'll explain that ex exact situation to you. I'm just going to see if I can get someone on the line. Is it okay if I put you on a brief hold? Sure. Es que el señor me lo dijo muy claro.